guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's vlog i am ashley if you are new and if you are new please go ahead and stop what you're doing do me a quick favor hit that subscribe button as well as that notifications bell so that you and i can become acquainted and so we can do things like this on the regular i don't know what all this is but for some reason when i turn this camera on i become even that much more animated it's kind of strange but Anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, I'm, this is going to be my last time saying Happy New Year, but Happy New Year because maybe somebody didn't see the blog or the video from this past week. So if you had, if you did not, Happy New Year to you. Um, I hope you guys had an amazing uh, start to the new year. Or hopefully you're um, sticking to whatever you wanted to implement as far as resolutions and things that you wanted to change. Um, and or perfect so hopefully you're sticking to that but let's just say you have you know stumbled and you fell off a little bit don't worry just start again there's nothing wrong with that it happens to the absolute best of us so um, and I'm saying that to myself specifically because I said I was going to start juicing and I have not started juicing yet girl so I'm gonna need to go over there and get me a bag of kale and some strawberries today because <laughs> I'm gonna need to get and I'm gonna need to find my freaking Nutribullet too just to see talking to y'all is so therapeutic and so helpful. It just it just reminds me of the things that I need to be doing. But anyway, blah 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 blah. As my hair is all over my head. But listen, you guys, I need answers. <laughs> like, I need answers, and the reason why I'm coming here to y'all about with this question is because I know y'all got the answer for it. Because y'all got the answer for most things. So the question that I have for y'all is, what the hell is so special about these Stanley Cups? Like, I need somebody to fill me in because I feel like I'm having FOMO for the most part. Like, I'm truly kind of feeling like I'm missing out. There has to be something magical about these damn cups. So, I don't know if you guys have been watching, like, TikTok and, like, all the viral videos um, this week. But, essentially, uh, they can't... Well, I, I guess, again, I'm super unfamiliar. So, I'm, like, a complete novice to this thing. But, Stanley apparently partnered with Starbucks, which is a whole nother topic, girl, because... I thought the girls were uh, boycotting Starbucks, but hey, I'm a non-coffee drinker, so I don't have a dog in that fight. But anyway, so apparently Stanley and Starbucks has a had a collaboration line of Stanley cups that came out for Valentine's Day, like Valentine's Day edition Stanley cups, and they came out in Target. Does Target is that's another question I have. Does is Target the only one that sells Stanley cups? I know we love Target, but. That's the only place I ever see people going and buying and stalking these people for these cups. But anyway, so they came out with these limited edition of Valentine's Day Stanley cups. I think one is red and the other one is pink and then they have like a little heart on them. Girl, I'm sure y'all seen the videos. If you have not, when I tell you that it was a complete frenzy on the day that they released at the Target, I saw people like kind of not camping out, but they were outside of the store with like blankets and ch and like um uh, what is it like the portable chairs or whatever people essentially was outside of the store hours before the store opened outside with blankets in this cold waiting on the store to open for these damn cups i know i'm giving judgmental right now but I, i'm just trying to understand what is the frenzy about clearly i'm missing something and i need to be enlightened and that's what i'm that's what i'm here hoping that y'all gonna help me <laughs> help me with but so, I mean, there was people outside, like I said, waiting for the store to open in the code for a freaking cup, six o'clock in the morning. And then I seen videos. Once they got into the store, people got to pushing and shoving. It was given like Black Friday from like 2005. <laughs> like it was given, they, it, I'm like, are these cups free? Which they were not. Apparently they're for the girls are paying 45 to $50 for these cups. So it just, I just, I just need to understand somebody. I, I know that they're insulated and I, apparently they keep your, your drink really cold for ever. So that's amazing. But like, other than that, what is so special about these cups? Like, the, do they refill themselves? <laughs> like, do you get a lifetime of clean water included with the cup for free? And it's not even really the price that is blowing my mind because I used to have a Hydro Flask, like if y'all remember Hydro Flask was like pretty much the Stanley of like maybe 10 years ago. I was so committed to increasing my water intake. Girl, I paid probably like 90 or maybe $100 for like the big ass Hydro Flask that had like a strap. It was like a jug, like almost like a water jug. Girl, probably used it for a month and then it just fell by the wayside. So I'm from, so I say all of that to say I'm not uh, above paying a lot of money for a good cup. 
However, I'm just trying to figure out what is so like, like I don't understand it. Is it the design? Because to me, the design is quite basic. I've seen uh, like cups that look like that at freaking like Walmart or just like they're not Stanley, but I've seen cups at TJ Maxx that look like that for like $19. So I'm just trying to figure out what's the frenzy. Is it just because of the name and it's just popular? And I mean, I see little girl, little girls like my nieces and them age, like elementary uh, grade school uh, age girls with the Stanley. I, I, I'm trying to figure this out. And like I said, I'm not trying to give off judgmental. I'm just trying to really understand. So please enlighten me. If you are a Stanley owner, what is so great about it? Do I need one? Perhaps, perhaps you should just tell me whether or not I need to join the Stanley gang because uh, I'm not going to get a Starbucks one because that's just not what I'm doing right now. I'm not a coffee girl anyway, so I'm not even saying I'm necessarily participating in the whole boycott, but I definitely... I could just go regular, but just let me know. Is it something that I absolutely need? Because I'm like, girl, my little, uh, well, damn, Starbucks. But this is pre uh, Gaza. I mean, anyway, block. we ain't getting into all the politics over here. But my little gold, my gold, it is a Starbucks cup from years ago. It's serving me just fine when I'm going to the gym. It's keeping my, it's not keeping like my, hmm, maybe I do need a Stanley. This is why, again, this is therapeutic. Um, it's not necessarily keeping my drink ice cold, but it's cold enough, girl. Like, I, And I'll probably pay $25 for that cup. So um, so anyway, enough of the Stanley rant. I'm just, like I said, trying to get an understanding. So I'm hoping that somebody can enlighten me. And then why do people need multiple colors of the cup? Like, I saw this lady with like a whole wall in her house of different, like she, I guess she's this collector. And she had like every color of the rainbow Stanley cup. I need to know. Clearly, I'm missing something. But anyway, enough of my Stanley Cup rant. Speaking of the little girls, you guys, there has been another whole thing going on on TikTok where people have been talking about how young girls have been kind of taking over Sephora and they are in there going crazy. Like nine and 10 year olds are in there specifically for skincare, which I find very weird. But because it's like, girl, you're not even getting acne yet. What do you need? Girl, if y'all get you some damn uh, regular face wash and some Cetaphil and sit your little ass down. <laughs> but anyway, people have been compl complaining all week long on TikTok, stitching videos, doing reposts, stitches, all this shit about how nine and 10 year olds are taking over Sephora and they're coming in there asking for like a uh, drunken elephant, drunken elephant. I think, I think that's it. Drunken. Girl, can you get the word out? Drunken elephant <laughs> products. And they said most of those products have like retinol in it, which I am not Keiko Beauty. I am not a skincare expert, but I think from watching Keiko's videos that retinol is like an anti-aging type of uh, active ingredient for anti-aging. So if you are nine and 10 years old, girl, you got like another 20, 30 years before you got to worry about that sort of thing. But, and also... In my experience, being a grown ass woman, like, and I ain't trying to count nobody's pockets, I ain't no pocket watcher, but in my experience, like, a lot of times, most of the time, good skincare is even that is even more expensive than like beauty, like makeup and stuff like that. So I'm like, whose mama is giving y'all hundreds of dollars at night and they trying to get y'all asses out the house? do something i'm like who in the world i me personally my nieces and them girl listen no give your auntie some anti-aging but as far as like you can go wash your damn face with some dove you're nine years old so i'm just like wow um for you mothers of little girls within that like preteen group are y'all little girls buying uh expensive skincare because i'm like at this point i think it's the influencer culture and it's the whole social media culture and it's like, clearly those little girls might, they're influencing um, faves are probably people that are in their 20s or 30s, which is kind of strange as well. But to me, that's what it's given. It's given, I'm just trying to emulate my fave and I just want all the things. Like I saw this little girl with like the Summer Fridays lip balm, like stuff like that, that's understandable. A little body spray, some like, you know, good body cream, something like that. But like I can get you being into that as a little girl and even maybe trying to like, you know, test your waters and try to wear a little makeup, but anti-aging skincare, like, I feel like that's a bit much, and I feel like we could be saving some money in that regard. But anyway, I have talked enough. 
let me jump up off my soapbox, but like it just, you know how it is um, here on this channel. Whenever I'm thinking about something, when it's lingering on my mind, I got to come to y'all and I got to talk about it. So tell me how you feel about the whole Stanley, Stanley, Stanley Cup craze. I'm sure y'all got them. So just let me know. Am I missing out? Do I need to go pick me one up? Because y'all be doing it. So if I need one, I'm going to get one. And like I said, I ain't trying to trick or get no, I ain't trying to get no Valentine's Day edition, but... How do you feel about the whole Stanley stuff, Stanley Cup craze? Um, are you a member of the Stanley gang? Secondly, please let me know how you feel about these little nine and 10 year olds uh, spending all this bread at Sephora and taking over. I ain't got no kids, so I really don't have a dog in this fight. I can't really be judgmental, but I do think it's a little absurd, but I would love to know your thoughts as well. Um, if you are a new subscriber, welcome again. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Before we get into this thing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we're building a community over here and we would love to have you a part of it. If you are a returning subscriber, Besos, I love you. I love the new ones too. I love you. <laughs> I love all y'all, but you know how I feel about my uh my community. So the community that we're building that is because we are far from the community, but we are we locked in. Once we locked in, ain't no switching up. <laughs> but uh yeah, blah blah blah. Let's get into the vlog. So I am only here to see if I can grab some more of the holiday clearance. The goal is to get in and out this hole. So this Target has a lot of stuff left. And this is like one of the main city Targets. This is the one that is on that's Atlantic Station. It says 50% off, but all this candy and stuff is really 70% off. I really wanted to wait until everything was 90 but I would be risking not getting anything, so... This is what I have so far. These little candles are super cute. Opal house, but um, none of these colors match my decor. I have this stuff. There's some house shoes down there. Plenty of wrapping paper, of course. Pajamas for little kids. All right, so Target Christmas clearance haul. So I got these. Y'all, this candy going to last me for quite some time. Uh, you know, I only eat like this on the weekend. So this is the Lindor chocolate snickerdoodle, snickerdoodle white chocolate truffles. The only thing that is non-candy related. Why is this wet? Anyway, I got these Opal House three-pack of candles. These are $3.00. I got two Mambas, white chocolate Christmas trees by Reese's. I love the Reese's trees, pumpkins, Easter eggs, Valentine cards. I love those. Kit Kats, toasty vanilla M&Ms, whatever those taste like. And lastly, the Ghirardelli, everybody loves these milk chocolate caramels. So yeah, I got all of this stuff for like $12, which is pretty damn so good. So shout out to my friend for my Christmas gift. She sent me over a gift card to, of course, go and fish. So this is where I will be enjoying my New Year's Day dinner. My favorite bonefish blueberry lemon drop. to get my Ota birthday gift gift one so at my at the Ota I stopped at I was gonna say it's my Ota but it's not uh they didn't have any birthday uh gifts at all so she gave me some samples of some of the stuff they were giving away today to customers and that was these good molecules b5 hydrating body serums she gave me three of those, and she also gave me some Lancome, it looked like some foundation. She know good and damn well I cannot wear this foundation, but yeah, so I will still be redeeming mine at a different 
I pulled up to my regular Ulta and they had all the birthday gifts in stock. So I decided on getting what I was considering to be the most expensive item. And this is not the bag, girl. That's the other bag. This is the bag. So this is what I picked up. It should be the Sunday Riley. It's so small. Sunday Riley Good Jeans Lactate Acid and Treatment. I don't know what the, what this does, but I know Sunday Riley is expensive and the most expensive out of all the options. So shout out to Ota. A birthday gift one at free birthday freebie one out of 20. first Trader Joe's run of the new year and they're asked they're looking for I guess you gotta put it on your building that you want an alcohol license I hear our grocery stores down here are gonna start being able to sell hard liquor so <laughs> we look forward to it so you guys I just got this in the mail this is the this this pretty much went viral this fragrance went viral on tiktok probably about a month or so ago i really wanted it but it kept being sold out so i just said you know what i just kind of gave up however i saw the good girl keiko beauty um of course she unboxed it the other day on her um ig page girl as you already know if you follow her or if you subscribe to her channel you know she's a fragrance girly I would say 86.9% of the time, I love everything that she recommends from a fragrance standpoint. So I was like, okay, when I saw she got it and she loved it, I said, I need to go ahead and um, go ahead and, and pull the trigger. So I did that. And this was only like $47, you guys. First of all, look how the box is huge. I don't see, like, look how big it is compared to this picture frame. And this is, of course, the 3.4 fluid ounce bottle. And it's so heavy. <laughs> like it's mad heavy so i'm like oh there's a box inside of a box okay give me packaging i love some good ass packaging girl okay okay a box inside of a box oh okay y'all okay mama loves some good packaging and y'all did this first i love this bottle i knew it was black because of course i've seen this bottle now i did not know it was matte black which i freaking love so let's smell her oh there's a little booklet this is my first latafa fragrance i think i do have another arabian um fragrance but i don't think it's by latafa okay latafa okay like y'all is not <laughs> pull up like i listen i'm all about the details so i really i have an appreciation for that especially at this price point so let's see what the girl is giving what is the girl giving oh, okay let's see i'm gonna spray it here on my oh y'all first of all i like the way it sprays i haven't smelled it just yet here it is oh Oh my God, y'all. I, hold on, let me flip this camera. So I had to flip the camera so I can smell. Ooh. I gotta make a TikTok. Girl, let me tell you something. You're gonna want this. This is, um, I think, a dupe for Kayali Young Pistachio, which I've been wanting at because, of course, Kayali is known for not having the best lasting power, which is not a, a not something I like with, with fragrances. I love something that's going to last, especially if I'm spending my money. Um, I love the way the Kaali smells, but I was like a little leery about purchasing it because it's not cheap and it doesn't last that long. This right here is definitely a dupe for it. And it actually kind of smells better than what I could remember. Oh, I like this a lot. This is going to be so free. First of all, I will wear, I don't really care about the season as far as like um, uh, uh, fragrances, but this is perfect for spring, summer, but I will be wearing it in the winter. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. Y'all, you're going to need this. You're... This just smells so bomb. Y'all, you're going to need this. 47 freaking dollars. Wow, what type of freaking, 
I don't know. I don't know what the people over in the UAE is doing to their fragrances to get them to be so affordable and to smell so damn good. Now, Keiko did say that that doesn't have the best lasting power, but um, that was at her first impression. So I will try that out. But at forty eight dollars, you know what I mean? Like it's cheap. It's, it's it's more than I mean it's it's half the price of this small Kali bottle, and um, it smells probably a smudge better actually. I love it. I highly recommend it. <laughs> and I'll link it down below. <laughs> wow. Y'all, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Let's talk before the win. I might need to get that other pink one that they was talking about too. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need that. Yara, I think is the name of it. Yeah. yeah. So did you guys hear about the Hermes price increase? So, for example, the Orans, I think they were 700 like just three days ago. Now they've gone up to 760 But that's not even the worst of the price increases. And I don't know if it was just like on the shoes, but let me show you the Cypress or whatever hat. I can never figure out how to pronounce those, but let me show you the price increase on these. Yeah, you see that, right? That is $910. These were literally, I think, $810 just the other day. So they went up $100 in just three days. And I started to get, what color? There was one color on here that they actually had. Because, you know, these are super hard to come by. These right here, which are sickening, they actually had my color the other day, or my size. They still got my size. But I just feel like $910 plus tax is $1,000. Now, are these everything in this colorway is sickening? Oh, this colorway is so sickening. Yeah, I'll probably still get some, but definitely not in America. I'll be trying to pick some up on my next trip to France because $1,000, I just feel like it's a bit much for these. Yeah. Especially, like, when they were, like, 700 and something last year. Like, y'all wilding with these price increases. Hey, guys. So, I'm just coming to check in with y'all real quick because I'm about to hit the streets. It's Saturday mid-morning. So, I got a few errands to run. Primarily, I want to go pick up some of those, like, birthday freebies. It's not my birthday yet, of course. It's not until the 16th. But I am somebody who takes full advantage of all the different places that give out, like, birthday freebies. So, I'm planning on going to collect some of those today. Um, but before I get into all of that, I want to finally stop. Hopefully, I can finally stop and try Bomb Biscuit. It's a Black-owned restaurant here in, like, the Highland, um, Ponte Highlands area, kind of like Midtown. And I've been wanting to go for a long time because it's been, like, kind of popping all over social media. But even more so recently because they were given when um, some of the Atlanta restaurants were given, like, the, what do you call it? Uh, Michelin star. <laughs> some of them were awarded uh, Michelin stars recently. I think it was like a few months ago. This particular restaurant didn't get a Michelin star, but they did get what they call the Bib Gourmand. So I think that's some other level of um, prestige as it pertains to restaurants. And I was super happy to see that because it's black owned, of course. So hoping I can um, try that out because if you don't know, I am an absolute avid biscuit and gravy girl. So I'm hoping that the biscuit is all that and then some. So I'm gonna try there. I've been trying to go for like the past couple of weekends, but they've been closed for the holidays. Um, so fingers crossed that it's not too crowded. So I'm gonna stop there, go to a couple of places, pick up some birthday freebies. And of course I'll be bringing you guys along with. Um, as far as what I'm wearing, it's cold outside. So I have on nothing special as I typically don't. So I'm wearing like this long, um, H&M sweater with some gray leggings. I also have on my green and white Stan Smith Adidas. I have on my green Goyard. Um, what else? No jewelry necessarily, just my everyday uh, diamond pendant, rings, Apple Watch. Oh, my fragrance of the day. Of course, <laughs> I could not wait. I know this is probably a, well, you know what? I think it's more of a gourmand. So I'm not gonna say this is like a really necessarily a spring summer scent. But this is that uh, Affection Love by Latafa that I showed you guys that I just got the other day. It smells really, really good. Like, really, really good. 
very much yum a yum pistachio by uh kayali but for a fraction of the price so i love this and i was so thirsty of course i had to wear it today um so with all that being said let's go hit these streets these atlanta streets it's pro i probably it's i'm probably not gonna have the issue with traffic because well actually never mind i know where we are we're gonna always have an issue with traffic but let's ride girl <laughs> So I'm hoping to finally try Bomb Biscuit today. That is, there's the restaurant right there. I don't know why my camera's not focusing. The only issue is that freaking, oh, I thought they was waiting. I guess there ain't no way. The only issue is that it's raining. Oh, and I don't like that. <laughs> so I'm over here in the North Highland area. I don't get over here often, but I do like the art in this neighborhood. So this is what I got. I got the Carolina, which is chicken, bacon, gravy, and a biscuit. Now the biscuit to me looks a little burnt on the top. Um, the bacon too, but uh, we'll dig in and we'll see. Now I am at Ikea. I'm about to get my $10 worth of free. Ooh, I haven't been to Ikea in a grip and I forgot that the lines be out of control. <laughs> like, whoa, 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 whoa. So I'm leaving Ikea. Just picked up my birthday freebie from them they basically give you ten dollars off of any purchase and there's no minimum so i picked up this bed tray so i'm going to be able to like edit um on my laptop or whatever from the bed um comfortably so i picked this up in black it was 15.99 so with the ten dollars off after tax i ended up paying six dollars and 52 cents so you can't beat that so i'm out at atlantic station to pick up some more uh birthday freebies and if i think this is like my third weekend in a row being out here but i love to see them setting up for a chinese new year they always make it so freaking pretty and they're starting right now so this is going to be super dope whenever they get done they actually like literally setting it up oh more of their Chinese New Year decorations. This looks like it's gonna be really pretty. They got it gated off, of course. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be dope. Now that I've been here, I can officially say that I can see why I never went <laughs> before we went because the margaritas were not margarita and the freaking menu just wasn't hidden. Oh, they still got ice skating going on. This is where I'm headed. I got some new fragrances to smell and a birthday freebie to pick up. <laughs> Can never stay away too long. I've been really wanting to check out this line by Fuller. So hopefully they got everything I want to smell. This is the one I keep hearing about. So I smelled missing persons and I like it. Online only? Oh man. I was trying to get the birthday freebie. Dang. So here is Tom for Vanilla Sex. Let's try her. I just got off the line. This is the other side of oh it's a dragon. Okay, I get it now. That's his body and that's his head. So my birthday freebies for today, I got the firehouse sub. So I got the steak sub, you get a medium sub. 
anyone. Um, you do on, if I don't know if it's just if you place your order on the app, but if you do place your order on the app, you have to make at least a $1 minimum purchase. So I picked up these Lay's for like $1.50. Um, of course, from Krispy Kreme, <clears throat> you get three donuts. So I got those. And then from CPK, California Pizza Kitchen, you get a free dessert no purchase necessary so i got their amazing butter cake which is my absolute favorite so yeah those are today's birthday freebies and of course there will probably be a part two. Oh, and i can't forget from ikea of course i got the um desk tray no the bed tray <laughs> or the bed what are what do they call this this essentially is a desk um for your bed tray <laughs> so of course i'll be editing on my macbook for yt and all the girls on this and this was so they give you 10 off of 10 um, or 10 dollars off of any purchase no minimum purchase this was 15.99 so i pay like six dollars and 40 cents hey you guys so i am coming in to end off this week's vlog um i've been out running errands of course i've brought y'all with all day uh, oh, one thing I wanted to tell you guys is that the bomb biscuit, <sighs> I was not that intrigued. I gotta be honest. Um, I hate to, I'm not, it's not necessarily, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. The biscuit wasn't bad, but it was a little hard for my preference. And it wasn't as, like, I like my food, like, piping high, which is probably why I should have got mine to go instead of sitting in the, in the restaurant. So I think that's, <laughs> that's probably what I should have done. So that way I could have put it in a microwave and it could have been as hot as I would have liked. But it, it didn't have enough gravy on it, so it was kind of dry. Like I felt the need, I felt like I needed, it was a gravy biscuit with bacon and chicken. And um, yeah, but I should have, it was, it was missing something. Like it wasn't, there wasn't enough gravy. I felt like I needed like butter and jelly and yeah, it left a lot to be desired. So I'm not going to write them off. I'm definitely going to try them again, but I'll probably just get their lemon pepper biscuit without the gravy. So uh, so I can really try to see what the true essence of the biscuit is given. But yeah, it wasn't. I was like, I've been tripping and waiting and being thirsty to come here. <laughs> I got to keep it super real with you. But the people were super nice. The service was A1. The pricing is pretty reasonable as well. Um, so yeah, like I said, customer service was A1. I didn't wait long at all. Um, yeah, I just, I'm gonna have to try it again before I give them like a rating. But today, it definitely, like I said, it left a lot to be desired. But other than that, I had fun in the streets getting my little birthday uh, freebies. I did try to get my freebie at Sephora, but I want, they have a Charlotte Tilbury uh, freebie for like VIBs and VIB Rouges. But apparently it's only online. So I'm gonna and then also you have to buy something. I think it's like a minimum of a $25 purchase at Sephora to get your birthday freebie now. So uh so yeah. So basically I'm gonna have to place an order online to get the uh Charlotte Tilbury uh birthday gift, but it's gonna be worth it. And plus I smelled a missing person and I like it a lot. So it's kinda it's not it's not like a, a knock your socks off type fragrance but it's very light and um which is kind of like my vibe so i think i'm gonna get the travel spray and then i also of course add in my free my birthday freebie because the girl needs to collect um so there's that but yeah anyway let me stop talking y'all ear off if you made it to the end of the vlog thank you so much for watching oh i would love to know also you guys one thing I wanted to talk to y'all about in the intro, but I forgot is Cat Williams. First of all, did you guys watch the full uh, Club Shannon, Club Shay Shay, Shannon Sharp, Cat Williams interview? I have not watched the full interview, but I have seen several clips and I find it to be hilarious. But it's something about Cat that just comes off as so authentic. I think that there might have been a little bit of exaggeration somewhere. I need to really watch the full interview so I can get the full kind of scope of everything. Um, but from what I can see, he just seems like he's such a genuine person. So some of that shit he was saying might have been salacious, but I think it's likely true. And then I also seen some clips of like Cedric and uh Steve from back in the day repeating his jokes. So I don't know if the boy's capping, <laughs> but it was hilarious. And it's just like I said, it's just something about his energy. Um 
I enjoy uh, Cat Williams. I think he's hilarious as well. But anyway, did you guys watch the interview? What did you think? Um, he don't necessarily have to, you know, come at your own people necessarily. But, you know, he was he was feeling his... He was in his bag and he was going in and I found it to be very entertaining and I can't wait to. I might watch that tonight actually, is sit down and watch the full interview and drink a margarita. That sounds like a good Saturday night actually. So that's what I want to do. The only other thing I wanted to know is did you guys watch the uh, Salt Lake City finale? Do y'all watch Real Housewives of Salt Lake City? I know I've asked y'all that before. I feel like some, mostly, some of y'all do and most of y'all probably do not. However, even if you do not watch the show, please go and watch this past episode, which was the season finale, because you are going to see something happen on reality TV that I have never witnessed myself <laughs> being a reality kind of like expert. It was epic. It was crazy. Yeah, so guys, please just let me know. Have you watched Salt Lake City? And if you haven't, at least watch the finale. You don't need the whole season as context unless you just, you know, decide that you absolutely need that. But I'm just saying the finale was so freaking epic just from an overall reality show standpoint that I'm pretty confident you would enjoy it. So uh, please let me know. Did you guys watch it? And if you didn't watch it, um, like I said, I highly recommend it because that shit was epic. <laughs> but when, anyway, with all that being said, if you made it to the end of the vlog, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to, of course, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys and dolls in the next vlog.